Greetings everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are just going to take it easy and sup and chat a little bit. We are going to review all the teas we have gotten over the course of the month from all the subscription boxes and I will give you my high points, low points, what I would order again, what I wouldn't order again and just have a general sip and chat. Um, at the moment here in Canada we've had pretty bad floods so there are a lot of things delayed and a lot of people have suffered. Luckily where we are it's not so bad other than shipment delays so we can be thankful for that. And I have my iPad over here with all my teas that I have on a special app that I have over here by Airtable. So all the teas are here with all their star reviews and what I thought my notes on them. The structure of how I'm going to be doing subscription boxes will be I'll give each subscription box three months and if I enjoy it we'll keep the subscription box. If not I will cut it and add a new one so if a subscription box isn't living up to either variety or it's very boring or the taste is very not nice then um, I will switch it out for another tea subscription because there's so many there's so many subscription boxes out there unfortunately I can't do all of them at once because I would never be able to drink that amount of tea I love tea I don't love tea that much that I would drink seven cups a day so um, we're going to stick with round about four a month-ish. That's what I'm planning on doing. Um, David's Tea only comes every three months, so that one is going to be the odd one out. And I love David's Tea, so for the most part, that one will probably never leave my list of tea subscription boxes. Hey Jinx. And we are going to start with, this is the winner of the month. It is a David's Tea Tea. It is Merry Mistletoe. It's a beautiful red, gorgeous color. Reminds me a lot of a sort of cross between mulled wine and sleigh ride, which is also a very popular tea that I keep in stock all the time. And this one won out. By a bigger margin, some of the others, but um, it did win. So, Merry Mistletoe for the win. Then some of the others that were really good. Let me just get all their names properly so that I don't uh, bungle it all up. Um, so we've got a, a couple from Tea Runners that actually um, scored very high. Um, Blood Orange Rooibos was pretty good. The Fruit Aroma Black I really enjoyed. And that was it for Tea Runners. David's Tea had the Merry Mistletoe and the other one I liked was the Chocolate Chili Chai. That was pretty good. Um, Amoda, Amoda Awaken the Muse. That was the winner and I actually ordered more over Black Friday so yum. And Tea Sparrow just was sort of mid-range. Mid I can't say much. You know it was just middle of the road kind of tea and um, the dollar tea was sort of on the low end I was I was actually not very impressed with um, the dollar tea so actually the worst tea for the subscription boxes this month was um, from the dollar tea and that was the pumpkin spice black tea it was it was pretty hideous, I, I won't lie, it's the first time I've ever drunk a tea and then felt like throwing it away right away. It was that bad. And I'm not one to, to throw a tea away. I, I will try and sweeten it or add milk or something to make it palatable and I will finish it because I don't believe in wasting tea. Or anything for that matter, but um, that was the worst tea I have. I have ever drunk I think in my life so and I drink a lot of tea I grew up drinking tea so that was that was a pretty pretty bad tea I, I won't lie so 
for me dollar t is is on the chopping block kind of it's it would be the first one i would cut based on on november subscription boxes although i've gotten the december one already it's sitting over here waiting to be unboxed um so we'll see if they can redeem themselves with their their december box but for now it's the lowest on my subscription box list so starting at the top we would go david's tea Ooh. david's tea is mm. Out of all the subscription boxes for November, it was definitely David's tea that um, won out, even with the, the top tea. Then we've got... Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's not a burglar, I promise. And um, second up was uh, Tea Runners. Tea Runners was definitely up there. I... I have had two boxes. One was an October and a November. They came within a week of each other, so I've pretty much had eight teas from them this month. So the, that's sort of unfair in a way. But um, so far they've they've been pretty good overall. Um, this month I'm getting just the herbal box, um, whereas the previous one was the mixed box with green tea, black tea, and herbal tea. So. Um, it was a good mix. I got to tr I got to try a lot of things, and I I enjoyed the one black tea a lot. So I'm glad I got to try that. Um, just a bit tired of green tea at the moment, so so that's why I've changed it over to the herbal tea box. I'm not a big green tea fan. I, I find it a bit um, bitter, even though I brew it at the right. It, it's just I think it's an acquired taste, and I have not acquired the taste just yet. Um, let me think. I think there were some oolongs in there too that were pretty good. Um, strange enough, the, the blueberry rooibos that I really thought I would like, I didn't like. Um, the blood orange one was pretty good though. So there were a couple of oolongs, they were okay. Um, a moda was sort of a mix of good and bad. So their hojicha. Which is like a roasted green tea. Not not my cup of tea, really. To to pardon the pun, it was just it tasted like seaweed. You know, like that um, nori stuff. So I did not enjoy that at all. Like I said, green tea is not not really my favorite tea to drink, and this as well was roasted green tea. So. It was, it was just something I was like, mm, no. So, did not like that. But their Awaken the Muse, which is a mix of green and black tea. It's um, black tea and jasmine and a few other things. That was really delicious. Um, so I ordered more, as I said. But it was, it was that good that I actually ordered more. So, um, looking forward to trying some more of their teas and seeing what else they have. The rest of them were middle of the road. They're orange ginger boost and the relaxing one um pretty good nothing nothing phenomenal but it, it was a, a nice drink there was a lot of tea so um even the middle of the road one sort of i don't get don't don't get mentioned that much because there were that many good ones as well as quite a couple that were were not um but they're all decent teas and um if you like those kind of flavors i would i would recommend them um, I'm getting their holiday tea mix that I got for the Black Friday sale and their December box already came so we we're going to be unboxing that as well shortly still waiting on tea runners and tea sparrow tea runners only ships on the 9th and tea sparrow is more mid-month so those will will come later if they come at all with all the shipping delays at the moment hopefully now that the rain has stopped for a few days the, um, the the flooding will recede a little bit and the roads will open well some of them because um, our main highway that runs from BC to well not even BC this this area of BC the, the Vancouver area um, over the mountains um, and into the interior the Coquihalla um, that one got pretty badly damaged in multiple places as in there's there's no road anymore it got washed away it's gone um, landslides took out some 
and that's going to be a couple of months worth of repair work and I don't know if anybody's ever watched um, Highway Through Hell um, the Coquihalla is is one of the the highways that are one of the highways through hell in the winter because they get so much snowfall that you you really can't navigate much through there and there's a lot of accidents that happen over winter um, so now with the roads out I don't think they're gonna get much repair done until late spring because it's just gonna be impossible to work in that kind of weather I mean we've got a few s smaller highways that run more out and around but um, a lot of things are going to have to be brought in either via rail or air so I expect our shipment delays are going to be pretty much a permanent thing until summer sometime so we'll have to see how, how that pans out um, things coming across the border are fine because well you know the border didn't get damaged but um, anything coming from the rest of Canada is going to be a little bit of an issue like David's Tea because they, they ship from um, Ontario as well as some of the other tea companies they ship from from east so it's going to be harder to to get so we'll have to see how how that goes but that will be it for our tea review and a little bit about the situation here in BC um, December is looking to be interesting with all the teas and the tea boxes coming I'm looking forward to it I'm hoping for a lot more Christmassy kind of flavors, cinnamon, um, peppermint, uh, things like that, chocolate flavors. So that that's something I'm looking forward to trying. Um, I have a couple of my favorites that I, I have, like um, I have a, a Tivana white chocolate candy cane mix, although Tivana doesn't exist anymore in BC. So I bought out a whole bunch when they closed. So that's that's one of my favorite winter teas and over the Christmas season and then of course there's Sleigh Ride by David's Tea that I really enjoy so we'll have to see what the, the subscription boxes throw out there's a couple of tea hauls coming up I've got uh, a Nomoto order um, with some holiday teas I've got an order from Dessert by Deb coming so that's a small little company in Ontario I believe um, and she does very dessert orientated teas so I ordered a bunch over the Black Friday sale as well for that and then there's just some random tea I've picked up here and there and um, I've got a Tiesta haul and of course there's my David's tea order which is still floating around lost in limbo at this point in time so we'll do a David's tea haul when when that eventually shows unfortunately I've also got my advent calendar in there so that that did not make it in time for the the start of the the advents okay so that will be it for today's video um, the next one will be a dollar tea unboxing so stay tuned for that as well as a Amoda tea unboxing subscription box and there will be a couple of more interesting videos coming up there's another clothing haul coming up as well so stay tuned for that and that's about it okay everyone thank you very much for watching we shall see you again soon